stepladder precautions. Inspected for defects before use. Correctly positioned on even ground. Suitable for task. Footed if necessary. Avoid overreaching. Not overloaded. Positioned on even ground. No work carried off top step. Worker maintains three-point contact. Properly erected and legs fully extended. Tied scaffold. Through tie. Reveal tie. Reasons for scaffold collapse. Wrong materials. Unstable foundations. Improperly designed. Improper direction. Overloading. Modified incorrectly. Undermined by excavations. Hit by machinery. Excessive winds, rain. Inspection of scaffold. Base firm ground and sole plates. Line of standards and ledger. Spacing of transoms to support boards. Boards good condition. Guardrails and tow boards. Bracing. Means of access. Ties number and position. Correct couplers. Joint staggered. Scaffold towers. Hazard. Overturning. Collapse. Fall from height. Falling objects. Overhead obstructions scaffold tower stability affected by. Sheeted in strong winds. Overload with equipment or materials. Used to hoist heavy materials or support rubbish chutes. Used for operations such as grit blasting or water jetting. Climbed from the outside. Used a support ladder. Precautions scaffold tower. Mobile towers only be used on firm and level ground. Towers only be moved by pulling or pushing at base. Working platform be clear of men and materials when scaffold is being moved. Wheels be turned outwards and lock when tower being used. Correct height to width ratio. Diagonal bracing. Platform must be fully boarded with guardrail and tow boards. Not overload. Access be on the inside of the narrowest side. Inspected every seven days. Mobile elevating working platforms. Hazards. Equipment failure. Unsuitable ground conditions. Defective or unused outriggers. Overloaded carrier. Carrier struck by a slung load. Mupe struck by another vehicle. Mobile elevating working platforms. Precautions. Trained and competent. Guardrails and tow boards. Firm, level ground. Not overloaded. Clear of overhead obstructions. Area cordoned off. Outriggers extended. Procedures if machine fails. Well fit. Suspended access equipment. Precaution. Regular inspection. Safe working load. Competent staff. Safety equipment working. Platform edge protection. Guard rails and tow boards fitted. Adverse weather rules. Protected electricity supplies. Communication. Emergency procedures. Excavation hazards. Collapse of the sides. Overrunning of vehicles. Persons falling into the excavation. Materials falling into excavations. Underground services. Access and degress. Hazardous atmospheres. Undermining adjacent structures. Flooding. Buried services. Excavation assessment. Soil types and conditions. Existing structures and tools. Underground services. Flooding. Protection of public. Depth support. Surcharge loads. Access and degress. 
Lighting. Experienced operations. PPE. Precautions to prevent trench collapse. Slope or bench the sides of the excavations. Support the sides of the excavation or again place shield between the side of the excavation and the work area. Construction health hazards. Noise. Vibration. Solvent and cleaners. Fumes and radiation. Biological hazards. Dusts. Saw dust. Lead dust. Silica dust. Asbestos fibers. Cement. Irritant dermatitis. Allergic dermatitis. Skin burns and ulcers. Storage of materials. Sand and aggregate. Bricks, blocks, roof tiles. Roof trusses. Various pipes. Hazards of storage of materials. Falling from lorries. Tripping hazards. Obstructing traffic, walkways. Materials falling from piles. Causing dust hazards. Precautions of storage of materials. Minimum quantities. Effective storing. Low or possible. Clearly marked areas. Ensure good housekeeping. Storage of flammable materials. Precautions. Keep quantities to a minimum. Secure storage area. Storage area properly ventilated. Containers and cylinders return to storage at end of day. Prohibit smoking and other ignition sources from storage area. Suitable and properly labeled containers for decanted materials. Protection of storage area from vehicle impact. Inspection of gas cylinders to ensure valves fully closed. Correct and right number of fire extinguishers. Safe practices for the use, collection and removal of skips from site. Suitable skip from reputable supplier, contractor. Hazardous waste stored separately. Skip in good condition. Skip not overloaded. Located on firm level ground. Adequate room for delivery, removal. Chutes for filling. Netting or sheeting for removal. PPE for staff. Safe use of portable tools on site. Ensuring suitable equipment. Reduced voltage 110 volt supply system. Extra low voltage for wet locations. Use of residual current devices, RCDS. Double insulated tools. Battery operated tools. Suitable connections. Pre-use inspections. Inspection, testing and maintenance. Competence of workers. Precautions for electricity on construction site colon. Use CAT scanner, cable detector scanner up to 3 meters. Use of crossing parts. Use of goal posts. Overhead power cables procedures. The minimum recommended safe working distance is 6 meters from the nearest part of the crane. If the minimum distance cannot be maintained the electricity supply should be disconnected. Overhead electrical services precautions. Isolation of power if possible. Safe path marked, use of barriers, fencing. Height restrictions marked by goalposts. Working notices. Ban equipment capable of reaching overhead lines. Limiters fitted to cranes. Supervision. Underground services controls. Planning the work. Locating the services. Identifying the services. Safe digging practices. Safe digging practice. Trial holes using suitable hand tools. Special when digging above or close to the line of a service. No non-held power tools or mechanical excavators close to underground services. 
excavations alongside the surface rather than directly above it. Final exposure by horizontal digging using hand tools. Shovels with curved edges, gentle foot pressure. Proprietary air digging tools. Please give comment and suggestions. Thank you. Subscribe our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank for visit our channel. See you next class. Thank you.